the newly released Insta360 X3 is amazing. This camera is packed with features. The features that I'm talking about are the features that you've seen on many of the YouTube videos that are already out on this camera. While I love all of the features that this camera comes with, there's one feature in particular that I really like and it's a feature that for someone who needs an everyday camera you know like an EDC this camera really steps up to the plate by the way my name is Dennis and if I might look familiar to some of you it's because I have another channel Lao Ocean that channel focuses on virtual walking tours and driving tours and I do a lot of travel and other stuff too please subscribe to that channel if you'd like to see a lot of the videos that I'll be making using this camera as well as other cameras that are in my arsenal. The feature that I want to talk about in this video and one that I've not seen too much of in other YouTube videos is the single lens feature. I love this feature. Again, for someone who needs a camera for everyday carry, this Insta360 X3 is amazing. <laughs> The me mode on this camera is so fun and there's a lot of other tricks that this camera can do as well but again I really like the single lens mode it shoots in 4k it also doesn't have the GoPro fish eye look which I actually don't mind but sometimes you don't want that look in your footage and that's where the X3 delivers also this lens is so wide right now it's about a foot from my face and I think the audio on this camera is actually very good and if I want to go wider this is with my arm fully extended and look at how wide it is you can fit so much in this frame and if you want to not include a lot in your frame and if you want the audio to be better you can bring it to your face like this now it's about a foot away from my face again and this is about this is about eight inches that's too close this is for sure too close <laughs> So I like using the selfie stick on this camera. However, when I want to go simple style and really be minimalistic in my approach, I actually like using this camera without the selfie stick. I mean, look at how small it is. This is the size of a, like a Nokia phone <laughs> from, <laughs> from back in the day. Some of you might be able to relate. I mean, this thing is small and I can easily put this in my pant pocket or jacket pocket without carrying too much weight at all. So this is what the internal audio sounds like when I'm at a park. And this isn't the quietest of parks either. I mean, there's a freeway that way, there's streets that surround this park. There's one there, there's one behind me. Yeah, this is how it sounds. Let me know what you think. All right, now we're going to take the camera indoors and do some grocery shopping. I think this is where this camera is really going to shine for someone like myself. Someone who wants to use this camera for doing different things like, you know, grocery shopping and just really handling the common day-to-day -day tasks, including going to coffee shops coffee shops and more coffee shops. One thing that I really like about this camera is the ability to hold it vertically like you would uh, with a phone and shoot horizontally. This is something that I really, really like. I've been looking for a camera just like this one and I have found it. I mean, there's apps out there that you can install on your phone, but it's just not the same. And besides, this is such a smaller camera than your phone and because it's smaller it just makes it easier to hold and stow away in your pant or jacket pocket all right let's go do some shopping let's grab a basket here and let's check out some fruit wow florida pomelo 329 a pound this market has so much stuff <laughs> they have a lot of fruit and produce at this market they have a lot of other things too here Wow, look at how big these jackfruits are. <laughs> oh my gosh, these look like durian, but uh, they're, they're not durian, they're jackfruit. Huge! All right, let's go inside. This market is huge. They have so much stuff here. Oh my goodness. Mangosteen, one of my favorite fruits ever. $13.99 per pound. Dragon fruit, I love dragon fruit. $5.99 a pound for the red variety and $6.99 for the yellow variety. 
and the white variety is $4.99. Now for dragon fruit, the sweetest variety is the yellow variety right here. Also happens to be the most expensive. I need to buy some apples and the apples I'm gonna buy are, I mean, there's a lot of different apples. By the way, I'm by a fan, so the audio might not be really good right now, but the apples I'm gonna buy are these apples here. These are some of my favorite apples. Super, super healthy for you. Rocket apples. All right, let's go back here and see what else they have. This place has a lot of seafood for sure. Wow, look at all the fish. <laughs> I mean, this is a seafood market after all, so. Yeah, there's lots of seafood. Lots and lots of seafood. Wow, check these out. It's lunchtime and I wanna get pho, so we're gonna do that and see how this camera does in an indoor environment. Pho here is $14 for a regular and then $15 for a large. I am going with the pho duck biet, which is the combination pho today. And I'm going with this uh, with a regular. So notice how wide this lens is. Right now, the camera is about eight inches from my face, but when I fully extend my arm, and I'm not using the selfie stick, by the way, I'm just holding the camera itself with my hand. <laughs> Look at how... <laughs> Look at how crazy wide it is. My pho has arrived. And I also got a side order of Nook Belt, which is like fatty oil <laughs> that you put in the broth. That comes free, by the way, no, no extra charge for that. And then there's vegetables and, of course, the condiments. Before I put anything in my pho, I like to taste the broth. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, the broth here is so good. So good and consistent. I usually just put my seen sauce and sriracha in my pho. Mm. I like a lot of sriracha in my pho. <laughs> and it looks like they have two kinds. They have uh, this here and then that one there. I'll just use this for today. Now this is what it looks like as far as how this camera does in an uh, indoor environment during the day. So good. All right, I'm going to show you what this camera can do as far as documenting your food experience inside a car. It's awesome because the lens is so wide. Right now, it's about a foot away from my face. But if you want to show your food and, you know, other people in your car, you can really drop back and look at how much you can capture using the single lens. And this is a single lens. That's the default lens, by the way. Uh, with the default lens, it shoots at 4K, 30 frames per second. You can you can set the parameters if you want, but I just go with the default lens. You can make this lens be even wider. It can go up to 170 degrees, which would be even way wider, but I don't want to go that wide. Anyway, let me shut my trap and eat this burger. Mmm, so hungry. Mm. The Insta360 X3 camera is an amazing camera that is packed with features from being able to shoot 360 videos to being able to do loops which you can use this camera as a dash cam actually to bullet time which i haven't tried that. <laughs> to the me mode <laughs> there, there is so much to this camera and i'm excited to use it more because I actually have had this for less than a week <laughs> and I've used it a ton. As of right now, on this day in 2022, this is my favorite everyday camera. Now, what about you? I want to hear what you think. What do you think about this camera? Let me know in the comments. By the way, if you found this video to be valuable, please hit the like button and subscribe button. It will help this channel a lot. <laughs> also, 
there's a link to this camera in the description. So check that out down below. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go home and uh, try the bullet time mode on this camera. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>